just a video on my little DIY um, DCC controller, Y throttle controller. Um, this is the deconstructed format of it. Um, so we've got a little Arduino ESP32, which normally would have the battery in it, but the battery's actually in the other device. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, with a little LCD display, a, a 3x4 keypad, and a rotary encoder. Um, so essentially four components and a battery. Uh, and so packaged up, that's what this looks like. Um, so it's neat in the hand, easy to, to use left or right handed. I'm going to do it left handed for most of this little exercise. Um, but um, turns on, pressing the button, um, and it's given me a list of the um, SSIDs that I've already got pre-configured in here, but I can actually get it to, to go and browse for them. Uh, but I'm going to connect directly through. Um, so that's one it knows about, and it's got a password already assigned to it. So it's connected to it. It's found the um, Y throttle uh, server, and it's automatically connected to it. If it's if it had found more than one, it would have given me the list and, and asked me to choose one. But it's automatically connected. So I've got a, a little Arduino, uh, sorry, a, a DCC plus uh, plus hooked up to my um, laptop. Um, and so the first thing I'll do, I might turn it on, so Astros brings up my little menu, and one of my menus is power up, I'll track power, and, and there's my power up. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the um, uh, select loco, which is on one, and I can just type in the address, but I'm going to bring up the, um, uh, the roster, and I'll press that, and get through, and one more, there he is. It's on 4 there, so 4166, so I select that. So it's got it selected, you can see it up in the top hand corner, which is L4016, and my direction is forward, up in here, and speed is 0. So if I bring it up, there it is, and then change direction, and bring it up, change direction, bring it up. So, um, that's using the, the basic functions, but I can change direction on the forward and reverse, which is on here. There, does the same job. Similarly, I can, I'll just change direction, and I can use the forward up and forward down, which are on here, and zero, which is stop. Um, and yeah, so um, I've got basic functions for, um, bringing up points, so I can open and, cl and close points. I don't think I've got any selected on, on this particular configuration. Um, but I can add an, an additional loco on there. So add loco and bring up the roster. So it's got zero for that one. So they've got two locos selected there. Uh, yeah, they're not on track. Um, but that actually controls as many as I, I can want. I actually think I've got a limit of 10 at the moment. Um, but you get the idea behind it. And I can drop that additional loco by my menu and two for drop. And bring up the oop. Yep. Yeah, it drops the last loco added. Yeah, it's a little bit, bit limited on that one. <coughs> I can bring up points and, and routes, but I don't think I've got any configured here. Do I? Or do I? Let's see. So bring up a routes and menu. No, I've got nothing on, on this particular configuration but I can bring them up and it'll show the ones that are on the roster as well. So that's it. It's designed to be handheld. This is print, printed by Peter, uh, another Peter, different Peter, uh, which is rather nice. Um, and why isn't it working any longer? Don't you love that? So it stopped working on me and I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah, that's it.